Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss about slash partition in QRadar and how can you troubleshoot issue with the root partition getting filled. Slash partition is the root directory of the file system. All the directories and files are placed under this directory. QRadar uses logical volume slash dev slash mapper slash root rhl hyphen root for slash partition. You can verify this using the command df hyphen ht. From the output of the df hyphen ht, we can see the logical volume slash dev slash mapper slash root rhl hyphen root is used for slash partition. When the root partition in QRadar does not have enough space, it can affect the regular functions of QRadar. Lack of free space in slash can cause multiple issues, such as you will receive alert for process monitor. Search will not populate result and you will receive input output error. Services will be impacted and you might also face issue for the deployment due to critical disk space. In every 60 seconds, QRadar disk check runs and look for high disk uses across the partition. When a partition goes beyond the critical warning threshold, an alert is triggered. As we can see here, the slash partition is currently 98% utilized, which is critical. To determine which file or directory are filling slash partition, the slash partition need to be mounted again to a different mount point with hyphen hyphen bound option. Make a note that this process will not need any service stop or unmount any partition. So we need to SSH to the affected host firstly, then we have to create a temporary directory for mounting the slash partition. You can use mkdir command to create the newly directory. Currently, we are creating a directory root underscore tmp. As we have created a temporary directory for mounting slash partition temporary, now we will start to mount the slash partition on the newly created temporary directory. You can use mount hyphen o hyphen hyphen bind slash dev mapper root rhl hyphen root and the newly created mount point. Now we can see that the slash is mounted on root underscore tmp. We will go under root underscore tmp and verify which file or directory it is utilizing more space. To check which file or directory is using more space, you can use the command du hyphen xch slash root root underscore tmp pipe salt By using this command, we will get to know which particular file or directory is using high space in the slash partition. Now we can see the slash root slash backup directory is using higher space in slash partition, which is around 9 GB. To overcome from this, we need to move this particular directory to another location so that we can make some space in slash partition. So we can check which partition is currently having more space to move this particular directory. We can check it using df hyphen hd. We can see here the slash store is having 7% utilized. So we will try to move the particular backup directory from slash root to store. Before that, we have to create a directory in the slash store for moving the backup directory. So you can use mkdir to creating a directory in slash store. Currently I am creating a directory IBM underscore support. Before moving the data we have to unmount the directory. You have to unmount the temporary mount point which is created for slash partition and for unmounting you can use umount slash root slash root underscore tmp now we can see the root underscore tmp is unmounted now we'll try to move the backup directory from slash root 
टू स्लैश स्टोर आई बी एम एंड स्कोर सपोर्ट वी विल वेट अंटिल दिस ऑपरेशन गेट कंप्लीट नाउ वी कैन सी द स्लैश रूट बैकअप डिरेक्टरी इज मूड टू आई बी एम एंड स्कोर सपोर्ट नाउ वी विल चेक द स्पेस इन द टी एफ स्लैश पार्टीशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ डी एफ हाइफन एच टी कमांड As we can see here, the slash partition is back to normal, and it is only 26% utilized. Once the slash partition have enough space, all the services will be up and running. In some scenario, if the partition reaches a point of critical service stop, then you need to restart the services in proper manner, and you have to wait for five minutes. I hope this video will help you for troubleshooting the issue with the slash partition. Thank you for watching this video.